Self Empowerment TV. Awaken. Inspire. Expand. Hello, I'm Brad Johnson, and welcome to Self Empowerment TV. This is a new series that I'm going to be doing uh, in relation to the first episode of the healing series. I'm going to be talking about the solfeggio frequencies and the 432 hertz pitch. So, with the solfeggio frequencies, this is something that you will find as a free tool that you can download online. You can simply go to my other website, which is www.solfeggiotones.com, and you can go ahead and download three particular versions of the solfeggio tones representing the Rave Sofagio frequencies, representing the Collection of Nine, and representing the Sedona 1111. Now, the Rave Sofagio frequency holds the highest quality. It is not really advisable to convert that into an MP3 as it may lose its quality. So it's very, very important for the Rave Sofagio frequency to remain in its wave format. However, if you wish to take some Sofagio tones on the road with you through your iPod, I'd recommend the other two versions, representing the Collection of Nine and the Sedona 1111. Now, what are the purpose of the Solfeggio frequencies? What is it that they do? They simply represent that of sound healing. They help you to expand your consciousness through the form of sound waves, through the forms of particular tones that resonate to each chakra center. Now, these particular frequencies themselves are a tool, and they are not in that any way a miraculous form of healing. However, they are, that, they are something that represents a benefit. Simply using them each day, in any way you wish. There have been a lot of people that have come up to me and asked me, how, how, many, day, how many times a day should I use the Solfeggio frequencies? As much as you want. There's no harm in doing it as much as you want, or as little as you want. What is highly recommended, though, is looking into the idea of when you get the Solfeggio frequencies, you put on a set of headphones and just let yourself focus more on the tone rather than the ambience, the music, so to speak. You want to focus more on the tone, and headphones are definitely recommended. Now, you can play the solfeggio frequencies out loud through speakers, and this is fine, but for the best results, it's best to use headphones, and again, concentrating on the particular tone, the particular frequency that you're using, from the 100th to the 900th hertz scale. Now, the solfeggio frequencies, again, can be beneficial. They can assist with healing, but they are again no way a miraculous product. They're not a replacement for your doctor or anything like that. They are an alternative form of method. They're an alternative tool that you can utilize to assist with your own healing process. There have been reports, there have been testimonials of uh, individuals who have had autism uh, that are literally starting to improve with the use of the self-ego frequencies. However, again, differences may vary. And again, this is in no way a particular replacement. But the Solfeggio frequencies were used back in the time of John the Baptist. They were used in the ancient churches where the uh, large dome-shaped roofs, again, carried the resonance of the frequencies. And it literally was a form of expanding consciousness and assisting with healing. There have also been reports and documentation relating to healing plants and healing nature by playing the Solfeggio frequencies out loud. There's a lot of information online relating to the Solfeggio frequencies, and you can find a lot of information through solfeggiotones.com. So go ahead and download those tones for free, and give it a try, and see exactly uh, where they take you, and see exactly how far you progress. It would be wise just to document your experience each and every single day. If you feel nothing, or if you're starting to feel some changes, it's all about really just adjusting to your mentality, and just discovering through yourself what you're noticing different about yourself. You can, by of course all means, let yourself carry your abundance forward. Let your excitement carry you as you listen to the self frequencies, saying affirmations, saying prayers, getting into a meditative state. Let your imagination carry you. There are no boundaries in regards to how you want to use the self frequencies. Now we're going to be moving on to the 432 hertz pitch. The 432 hertz pitch is the very same frequency that resonates with the sun. It is the very same frequency that many sacred sites upon the planet are literally configured to in the form of sound. The ancient pyramids, for example, resonate to that of 432 hertz. The ancient pyramids uh, amongst the Giza Plateau. Now, the 432 hertz pitch represents a fine tune of balance. 
It was around the time of the Second World War where many of the instruments that used to play 432 hertz pitch were transformed or changed into 440 hertz pitch. The 440 hertz pitch, in that sense, creates somewhat, you could say, a bit of a static background if I was to compare it in that way. Whereas if you actually fine-tune the frequency to 432 hertz pitch, you're getting the purest of sound. There is no feedback, there's no background noise, so to speak. And so it is the 100% pureness of sound, the 432 hertz pitch. So what I'm going to show you right now is how you can configure any song using a free program called Audacity and literally transforming your song into a 432 hertz pitch frequency. So here is the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. All right, so this is going to be the tutorial to transform any particular song into the 432 hertz pitch. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to download a program called Audacity. Again, just run this through your search engine. And here is the particular download link here you can go to get Audacity download. And again, this is a free program, so just feel free to download it Windows, Mac, and Linux. And once you have that particular program downloaded and installed, we're going to move into down, uh, uh, importing a song into the program. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can turn this into a 432 hits, hertz pitch frequency. Okay, now I have Audacity running here, and I've just uh, imported a sample track here. Uh, this is actually the Adronis theme. And so, if you want to make this entire track converted to 432 hertz frequency, you just want to click on here so you see this little line here that appears, and you're just going to hold down Control or A, so you want to select all. Now you can also go to Edit, and you can go down to Select All. Or I should say select all, yeah, right there. So I've selected all, and then what you're going to do next is you're going to go to Effect, and you're going to change the pitch. So click on Change Pitch, all right? So what we're going to do now, is we see this here, you don't have to worry about any of, it, any of this here. You're just going to go straight down to Frequency Hertz From. And you're going to type in 4402. 432. All right, and now as soon as you do the 440 to 432, you should see the percent change to minus 1.818. You'll also see that this has now gone down to A. All right, so once that's done, you're just going to hit OK. It's going to change the pitch. Now it doesn't look like that much has changed. It still looks like it's a little bit the same, but that's the point because we're not changing a mass amount of scale here. We're only going down 8 hertz. And so now when you play your tone, or your music, I should say. Now it may not sound 100% different, but in fact it has been. It's literally been configured now to the 432 hertz pitch. Now the only time I would not suggest doing that is with the Salfago frequencies themselves because it's very, very important that they remain in their integrity in regards to the pitch that they've presented because of the frequency hertz that is uh, upon the scale of the Salfago frequencies. So other than the Salfagos, I recommend doing this to every single mm -hmm. song in your library to literally transform it into the 432 hertz so you get the purity of that sound and you really just feel the vibration, the frequency, the hertz uh, of every single sound, every single song in your library. And uh, you can even convert, uh, you know, speeches, presentations, narrations in this particular frequency as well too. So you're getting the purest sound relating to the 432 hertz. So again, after you're done, just go File, Save As, and you can save it as an MP3 or a WAV file. And that's about it. So thank you very much for tuning in to this special first episode of the Sound Healing Series on Self Empowerment TV. I'm Brad Johnson. I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Namaste.